We're officially into the second half of the AMA Pro Motocross Championship as the series headed to Spring Creek MX Park in Millville, Minnesota on Saturday. With six rounds completed, just five remained in the series and the countdown of races remaining is now starting to come with a bit of a different countdown. Qualifying at Spring Creek started off with some jaw-dropping numbers as Jet was four seconds faster than anyone in the first qualifying session of the day. It tamed down a bit in the second session as he was just over a second faster than Chase Sexton when all was said and done, but he was still fastest qualifier again for the seventh straight time. Off the start in the first moto, Sexton was in third, but then fell on the first lap and drifted all the way back to seventh. He remounted quickly and made his way back into second within about four laps. By the time Sexton was in second again, Jet had pulled the lead out to about seven seconds. Incredibly, Sexton was able to inch the gap down lap after lap until he was on the rear fender of the Jet. What ensued from there was arguably the biggest challenge Jet had endured this year as Sexton kept the pressure on and even got close to a pass attempt in a few areas. It came to a head though late when Sexton was caught out by a lap rider at the bottom of MT Martin that ended the battle. He would also have another small slide out late, but the battle was already over. Jet Lawrence converted the first moto victory to move to 13-0. The second moto saw Sexton rocket out to the hole shot this time with Jet right on his hip going through the first corner. Sexton led for about four corners until he slid out in the sand rollers exiting the U-turn and handed the lead over to Jet again. He would remain on him for a few laps until he fell again, handing Jet about a six second lead. This time, Jet would not let Chase inch back to him though as instead he inched away from there to a nearly 20 second advantage. While a 2-2 day is solid, Sexton is clearly frustrated and wants to get back to winning ways. It felt like today was the closest version to 2022 Chase Sexton that we've had in pro motocross and if he continues to build each week, it seems inevitable he breaks through for one of these wins eventually. If and when he does, it also appears he'll be the man to break up the perfect season. I got on the gas too hard, said Sexton of his second moto mistake. I was in that soft stuff, and I expected to get traction, I did not get traction. Then I was in second, he made a big mistake and I thought he was going to go down, but he didn't go down, but I was right behind him and in the roost, I could not see at all, and I ended up going down. I just went over the rut. My riding is getting better, just a few mistakes. I'm not going to quit, and I'm going to throw everything I have at it. Wachalbo is my style, and I'm looking forward to more battles. You live and you learn.